So here's the check-in. The people here are really super easy, friendly. They get different types of shells that you can see. Herring in this park is, they protect the raccoons for some reason really well. You got raccoons on their uh, desks up there. You got every sign here they make has a raccoon on it. And look over here. See, here the raccoons are very smart. Problem is there's just too many raccoons. Yeah. Jim had an incident with the raccoons the last time we were here. <laughs> there was one that was super friendly with him. Well, the kid was trying to throw away uh, trash, and the raccoon was on top of the trash can. And it wouldn't move. And it wouldn't move, and the kid didn't know what to do. Yeah. So I tried to shoo it away, and it just basically, uh, it just hissed at me and it hissed at the kid. So the kid just stood there until his dad came and basically got a bat and whacked the raccoon so he could get away. So he threw a trash <laughs> this was about four years ago when we were here. I suspect nothing has changed. <laughs> we'll find out. We did, the last time we were here we had a water site. This time we picked a non-water site. But we do have a pet site so if we want to bring my son's French Bulldog over we can bring him over and we won't be in trouble. It says it's over here. Oh, we must have missed it. It's exit only. I think it's back behind us. Sanitary disposal station straight ahead. Oh, okay. We're looking for the dump. Each site has electric, Caution. water, Unpaid road. and um, a picnic table and a grill. But there is no sewer at each site, so you have to go to a dump station. And because we've been living at our house that there is no house, we are... We need to dump first. So we're going to dump and then park it. And this trip we have lot 121 non water side, but it is in the pet park. Even though we don't have any pets. Caution. But our Unpaved son does. road. And the dump station is just past the check-in. Well no, there's a check-in and then there's a store. Uh, a, a camp store and it's just past the camp store there's the uh, camp store with the allies you do have to watch we have seen dead a dead rattlesnake here the last time we were here um, a diamondback I'm not seeing a live one and then here's the sewer dump very clean isn't it Jim yeah super clean no smell and the water to clean it up there's a trash can right at the sewer dump area I'm not gonna show you Jim dumping the sewer obviously and they have little playgrounds nothing fantastic but nice little picnic area over here or playground so they got different types of uh, swings and a big center camp pit, fire pit there, and then a newer playset over there. There are multiple playgrounds, this is just one of them. Even though things have changed, it doesn't always go the way you plan. Originally our plan was to leave the first of, well the second week of November and go down the east coast then go to disney world and stay at disney world for about 15 days and then from there go visit our son in mississippi and stay at a campground there for a week and then come here for a week then have christmas at our house and then go to the uh i guess the everglades and then from there we're going to go to key west and do all the keys and everything well Ian kind of changed that but like our motto is no worries there is worries but you know what there's not much you can do about the worries so we've adjusted fire came down we didn't do the east coast like we had planned we just did a short east coast trip and then we did the uh, Port Wilderness Center we did about 13 days 12 days there and then instead of going to visit our son, we went back to the house or the lot 
and then we still came here. We we're going to go home to Ohio for Christmas, you know, and obviously do it in Florida. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard. So we're going to uh, still go to the Everglades, spend like about five days there, and we may go to Key West, may not, and then we've canceled like all of our trips for January, and we're going to try to do a couple in February. It all depends when we can get our new house. So we wanted to show you this campground. So this video is going to be a review of the Fort DeSoto County Park in Palalis, Pal Palalis? Pal what is this called? Palalis? Pinellas? Pinellas County. And maybe we'll show you some of the things that we do. We're probably going to go kayaking. We brought the kayaks, obviously. And our bikes, our e-bikes. And we, we enjoyed our e-bikes. We rode those at Disney World. And we've been riding them at the house. Or, I keep referring to the house, but really it's just a lot. Uh, but it's where the house belongs. So there's the kayaks. All nice and loaded. Ready to go. It's super easy. Put the kayaks up there. And then, the bikes. As we showed you before. Super easy. They're sit right in the back of the truck, pull them out. We've been using the uh, kitchen as a shelter for just the e-bikes because we haven't had a need for a, a cook kitchen. The mosquitoes haven't been that bad here. And at Disney World, we didn't do a lot of cooking. We did a little bit inside, but there was just, we had already planned on eating out at a few of the restaurants, so we went ahead and did that. So we haven't had much use of it. And this is our campsite. You do get quite a bit of privacy. And our camper is back there behind the truck. <laughs> and if you take a quick tour of the campsite real quick. <clears throat> you have to rent fire pits. They're what, five dollars a day or four dollars a day? Five dollars a day. Five dollars a day. Um which Wood's is fine. more expensive. The wood is only ten dollars. When is wood is ten dollars? Yeah. <laughs> and you get what four five six. Five pieces six. and six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you broke that off of the one, so it's five. So, got a picnic table. I think we're on the back. Water and electric. No sewer dump here. And our campsite here. Backs up to, oh, there's a, a grill here too you can use. And our campsite backs up into a really nice playground. Kids have been utilizing it a lot, which is good. It closes at sunset. Nice campground though. Nice playground. Of course, you got the bathrooms and showers here with a washing machine. Costs a dollar seventy-five to wash and basically two dollars to dry. Bathrooms are pretty clean. I mean, we've used them, taken showers, used the bathroom, and it's been fine. So no, no problems there. Anyway, this is our campsite here at Fort DeSoto. And this is our site. And I'm surprised that the, with the number of trees up there, our solar is still charging up through the trees. So we must be getting enough solar to keep our batteries charged. Even doesn't matter because we're hooked up to the electric and it's charging it, but nonetheless. So did you tell them the fun fact for today? And this is a little tent-like structure we bought. Basically it's become a garage for our bikes and we can sit in there if it gets really buggy. Wait. Did you tell them about the, the slate accident today? 
With the bear spray? The bear spray. Somehow, we bought two bear sprays when we were in Shenandoah. And at Cabela's. At Cabela's. And there's a safety seal on the one. It came loose and it sprayed all over the cupboard. So then we weren't sure what had sprayed all over the cupboard. So we didn't notice it. So when I went to pick up this bear spray, it went off again all over my chair. So we've been sneezing and coughing thanks to the pepper spray. It's mm -hmm. on my arm too. Trying to clean it up. Yeah. But hey, things happen. So he goes, we got some Christmas lights strung up. As you can see, we'll show you to me at night if we have a chance. Oh. Yeah, it's like a rubber. Mm, I showed a picture of it. something you get into, I think. Hmm. I took a picture, but... Hmm. The miniature flying over. It show me in it. Well, it's hard to get both of these. <laughs> Back up a little. Yeah, so it's like a little court area. That's a cashier. Yeah. So you got... You got a cashier, you can play bank. And then you have your climbing wall. Very hard. Swings. Sleeping bear. But it's a really nice. The ground is really soft. It's really soft. It's real spongy. So we went for There's a bike ride today. We took a uh, two mile, one way, two mile. So it was four, four miles all around. That we rode from the campground to the uh, fort. Fort DeSoto. The actual old fort. Spanish American Wars fort. And that was really fun. Did that on the e-bikes. We were going to go kayaking, but the red tide is kind of bad. So we haven't decided yet if we're going to go. A bunch of dead fish. Yeah, they, it's known here for the little canals to go kayaking. And they said it kind of smells. So, we got a nice fire going. Here's our Christmas lights. I strung them around from one tree to the other. And then back around. Got the fire going. We had hot dogs. And we have some corn that we got at the local uh, farmer's market that we're going to eat. The neighbors are playing their music a little loud. But they shut it off like around 7. Nice little campsite. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him. This is our son's dog. We're going to take my keep away.
we're at the dog park here in uh, Fort DeSoto. We went to the small dog side. Is he's considered a small dog, of course. And it's our son's dog. It's our son's dog. Our oldest son's dog. He loves to chase the ball. So you don't like to give him up. <laughs> There, he dropped it. There's also a dog beach. You gonna pick up that one instead now? Yeah, these aren't the Wilson ones. Which way do you want to go? Because there's a doggy beach here for me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bring me your ball, Bentley. Yeah. Bentley, where's your ball? He left it there. <laughs> Throw it there to the other ball. Huh? Throw it there to the other ball. He's gonna go get it. He's gonna go over to get it all. He goes, oh, look, that dog's bigger than me, but I'm gonna play. This is the first um, area that you come into at Fort DeSoto before you actually get to the fort. It's a boat dock. Yeah, it's a boat dock, boat ramp. There's multiple ramps, ramps and uh, places to hook up. Plenty of parking. This is also where you catch, what are the two ferries, Jim? Ed, Egmont Key and Shell Key. And then this is the ferries to them and you park right over here. Before we started the YouTube channel, right after we just bought the, the trailer. And we went to Egmont, is that how you say it? I think Egmont, so. Egmont, or Egmont, I'm not, I think we're pronouncing it wrong, Key. And I found, and I'm gonna put it right here, is a half of a Megadon tooth when we were out there, so. Great place to go uh, shelling and toothing. I haven't been to Shell Key yet, but that's on the to-do list, bucket list. Egmont Ferry last, what, a few days ago? Saturday. Saturday. So this is Tuesday. Yeah, hey. there's red tide right now that came in. And you can smell it being really bad right yeah. now. Yeah. It's not bad when the tide's going out. It smells like... Dead fish. <laughs> so the shell key, are you gonna point towards me or there? Well, I was trying to see. I'm gonna tell them and then you're gonna. Okay, okay so shell key, it shows pictures of great place to find shells and uh, sand dollars. It's warm waters for swimming, sunbathing, and then. The Egmont, or Egmont, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, when we went out on the way back, we did see manatees. Uh, we seen uh, three of them, and then we seen a mom with a calf. And then there is an old fort there and an elite house. But that's also where I found the Megadon tooth. And there was a guy that was on the ferry, that works the ferry, and he had found five full Megadon tooths out there. So, but this is where the ferry actually goes out. And you can get the tickets online. Yeah, I guess. So right there's the Hubbardsferry.com. Yep. Well, this is before you actually get into the fort. I'm supposed to show them. The, this is the ferry you take out. One of the two. Yeah, one of the two. One of them's gone. There was well, two here. There's different days that they go different places. 
I can't believe any would be going because this is what red pie looks like. And if he had small vision. Which, thank goodness you don't. <laughs> yeah, you would know exactly just how bad. Right here, there is a place that you can rent kayaks. Surfboards. Stand up paddleboards. Are they stand up paddleboards? Yeah, what do you want here? You want here? I want my shoes. So there's the kayaks that you can rent. Stand up paddleboards. Life jackets, the whole works. If you have your own kayaks, you can launch them right here at the place that you rent the kayaks. The guy is super nice. So was the girl, um, the female, and he said, just launch them here. This is the easiest way. We are now at the Fort DeSoto County Park gift shop. Uh, it's a snack bar, bike rental. They have ice cream. It's a gift shop. But this is where you come if you want to ride, uh, rent a bike, if you don't have your own bike. And there's a little grill. Same with the campground one. There was a grill there too. Last time we were here, we seen a dead rattlesnake. He's right there, isn't he? On that right one? Yeah. He was smashed. Root beer floats. Mm -hmm. Squeezing lemonade. Hershey's ice cream. Color your own. Color your own turtle. Let's get that for Raylan. She's five though. I don't know. Don't think they have the snow cones anymore. Maybe they only have those in the summer. You guys have snow cones anymore? Yeah. Oh, you do. Awesome. I want a snow cone, Jim. I'll take uh, cherry. Okay. Yeah, cherry, pina colada, or blue raspberry. I'll take a cherry. Hear me? Uh, small. Small. Pina colada. Small cherry. Yep. I said I made the mistake of getting a large one when we were here five years ago. I knew not to do that again. Yeah, good. Yeah. Those restrooms here. They're right at the ocean. I mean, even though we haven't been showing a lot of the ocean, because of the red tide, we're right here. We rode our bikes over yesterday, and we're probably going to ride our bikes, our e-bikes over here again. So you can see there's umbrellas, chairs, $25. Just the umbrellas are $15, or the chairs, $7.50. Of course, sale tax isn't included. We're at the end of the pier here by the gift shop at Fort DeSoto. Yeah. They say that the shelling from the fishing pier to North Beach, which is that way, is some of the best shelling here. And it is a good place to find shells. This morning we found, some, they're regular shells, but there were some really large ones that were in perfect shape. Uh, we've seen a lot of sand dollars. A few, most of them were broke, but it depends on how, you know, what part of the tide that you come in that you can see them. And then um, there was a turtle nesting place. So this is one of the places where the turtles come in and nest. So they had it blocked off. Show them the beach. There's it looks like a lifeguard chair up there. Right up there. <clears throat> Seems to be a lifeguard station or something. There's a looks like a telescope, an umbrella, and a chair yeah, so at the not, top of that. I'm not really sure what it is. And there's the fishing pier. Manatees like to hang out there. It's a two mile ride from the campground to the fort. That is the Fort Soto, the Spanish American fort that we're referring to. The historic fort? Yes. It's two, it's two miles and then two miles back.
several guns. Your location room. Relocation room is what you call it. Relocation something room. See how thick the walls are? Mm -hmm. There's a wall right there. So why it's the wall? This was built in 18 something. I'm sure these were full of supplies. It's like a rain gutter system going throughout the place. One of the guns. Just let you know the size of these. give you some perspective on the size of that. There's probably an anchor chain to hold down the gun as it shot. So it's a Spanish-American war fort and this is a plaque dedicated to the who served during that time. Battery here. Here's another battery at Fort DeSoto. You can walk up and pop too. There's This would have been full of guns during the war. They could fire out into the bay. Construction of the fort began in 1898. And it was actually named Fort DeSoto in 1900. So in less than two years, it was built and being used here. Less than two years. More than likely, it was probably almost completed. The guns were in place in 1898 as well. So it just gives you an idea how quick they built this place. This rub, this rub is one of the best rubs. It's Everglades. You want the green Everglades for everything. And then if you want a barbecued rub, I would suggest the cactus dust. They also make a spicy, sweet and spicy rub and a hot rub. But the green bottle, which here, I'll get it. If you're in Florida and you see this Everglades seasoning, it goes on everything. They have a fish rub too, or a fish spice, but you don't need it. The Everglades works for chicken, fish, steak, everything. It's an all-purpose uh, seasoning. Both my boys use it, we use it. And then, like I said, this has Everglades cactus dust. It is a really good uh, barbecue rub. And it's a uh, Barbecued rub. No MSG. So this is good stuff. Today we went kayaking. And guess what? The camera didn't work. What happened is we put a new disc in the camera, our water Fuji camera, and we didn't know it but it didn't latch. So we thought that it was taking videos the whole time. Didn't take a single video. But you will see right here a picture of Jim in the kayak. So we really did go. And it was great. We seen manatees left and right. We seen a pod of uh, four of them. And then there was a baby and two adults. And then there was a juvenile, a smaller, medium sized one that kept swimming around with the pod. And then there was a fifth one that was playing and it would like literally dive underneath me. And I was away from them. I was nowhere near them. And it would come clear over to where I was and, and try to go underneath the, they would go underneath the kayak and come back up. And then as we were leaving, because we went out and made a right, yeah, it was a right out towards, we didn't go all the way out to the bay. And then when we turned around and came back to the dock, uh, we seen them again, and then we seen two more. So we seen a total of seven manatees today. And on top of that, we got to see a dolphin. So there was a dolphin out there. In the bay. In the bay. It wasn't in the bay, it's in the uh, channel. It's actually, it's not even in the bay. So we were in the channel, we seen seven manatees, a dolphin, 
several uh, bonnet shirts because the red tie had a little bit came in the bit in the channel not much but there's some dead fish so the um, bonnet sharks are eating them and now they're dying from the red tie and we've seen a couple of um, black tips that actually one circled around Jim and didn't bother him. Uh, they're not bothering you because they're just after the dead fish and trying to get away from their, their red tie. But it was a blast. We're at the Enchant St. Petersburg. It's at the Devil Rays Stadium, the baseball stadium. They decorate the whole place up um, for Christmas. It's really kind of cool. Okay, this is the campground. We are in the dog park area. We'll take you over here to sites one. Can I go this way? Over to where they were playing the bocce ball? Okay, so here's sites. There's another camp post. We've seen three camp posts so far spots. You can get ahead of me. There's garbage cans. Usually around the campos places. Here's the other side of the playground that we showed you earlier. There's our shower house. There's a shower house that raised so many lots. Not an issue at all. Yeah, there's an ash where you dump the uh, hot ash from the fireplace, fire pits, which we had a fire pit the last two nights and we dumped ours this morning because tomorrow it's gonna rain. Supposed to get that bad storms that everybody's getting. This is considered a water view site, I guess. There's a bird. But uh, right here in the center part, uh, the other day, we seen the center area right here the other day, we seen uh, two couples playing bocce ball. So I don't know if they brought it from home or if you can get it at the park, but it's a good place to play cornhole or bocce ball. Got a little bit of shade. I think that was Sunday that we seen that. We have camped over in site 100, right straight across. That was the first time we came. And you may see a few dead fish in there. That's from the red tide. But it doesn't really smell that bad because the wind's blowing and kind of keeping the smell down. This is the pet section, as I said. Sot 89 to 2 something, I think. What was it 89 to something? 169. Yeah, 169. So from 89, 80 something to 169 is the pet area. There's the ash. They have a few of those around. They're usually close to where the shower house is. We have yet to see a raccoon. We have seen squirrels. Although I think I heard a raccoon last night, didn't we? Yeah, we heard a raccoon fighting with something yes, last night. Yeah. But I usually try to get either the spot right there by the playground, if I was here. We'll go around this way. Sites uh, 136, 139 through 164. This is the rest of the pet area. Uh, the water view sites. 
on most part are, are nicer, but there are a few to the left that are non-water part that are big. They're really long. That are, yeah, they're real long. Like this camp post one here. And they might be pull throughs. Um, but that would be like in the second part. The first part that we're in, the 89 through 121, if you're on the left hand side, most of those lots are really short. And the water sites are usually a little larger, a little open air. Open air? Open or more open. But these are all really nice here from uh, 139, 169. What was I? 130 what? What were these lots? Jim? 139 through 164. They seem to be pretty large lots on either side, water view or non-water view. And this is also for myself, so when I make a reservation for next winter, or if I try to make a reservation for... Yeah, these are pull-throughs. Hey, I'm going to go the way we're not allowed to go. Only because I don't feel like going out in the road. I'm going the wrong way. You can get ahead of me. I just keep going too fast for him. I'm trying to get you ahead of me. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And how about a raccoon emoji? That really helps the algorithms for YouTube so that more people can see our videos. We'd really like to get up to a thousand subscribers. So that's what really help us. So a thumbs up and a comment. And if you don't feel like doing a comment, then just give us a dog emoji because you like seeing Bentley in the video or a raccoon. So that is a review of us biking around all the lots. I didn't holler off the lots. Uh, I will put up a diagram of the different lots. That was provided to us from the park. I'll take a snapshot of it and add it to the video. Thank you for watching.